In today's video, I explain the difference between the types of carbohydrates. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and today we're going to talk about the types of carbohydrates and how you should use them and why it may or may not be important to you and your goals of building your physique, getting your body fat low. There's a lot of discussion around carbohydrates and I think to some degree there should be some concern, but to another degree I think we go a little bit overboard with fearing carbs. I actually feel like carbohydrates can be very beneficial when used properly. So what we're gonna talk about today comes from my Instagram direct message. So if you'd like to send me a question, I'm gonna link my Instagram here on the screen. Go there, send me a direct message, screenshot them. What I like to do is save them up. I'm gonna read the question here and then we'll discuss it. I was wondering if you could explain the difference between types of carbs. For example, when filling in my macros for the day, if I have 40 grams of carbs, I still need to eat. I don't know if it's better to eat something like fruit or rice. Thank you. So this is a very good question, and this is where it comes down to kind of understanding, let's say, what your abilities are when it comes to carbohydrates. What I mean by that is some people, when they have something like a simple carbohydrate, they might actually get triggered. So to understand what kind of carbohydrates to have, first we gotta start with, are you a healthy individual? Are you a diabetic? If you're not a diabetic, that's where I'm gonna come from. If you are, you need to speak to a professional, okay? Diabetics do not have the ability to produce insulin, their pancreases don't work the way a healthy person's does, so this changes the game. But if you're a healthy person, carbohydrates are certainly going to be very beneficial to your physique goals. The two types of carbohydrates that I wanna talk about, and we can get into a little bit of why you should use one versus the other, would be simple versus complex. Simple carbohydrates are going to raise your blood sugar levels rather quickly, and this is why it can be a concern for someone who has an issue with clearing blood sugar. And I think that's where a lot of misconceptions come into when it comes to like a fat loss model. There's a lot of claims that if you spike your insulin, well, your body can no longer burn body fat during that period. But what you have to understand is that this is just a very acute thing. When you ingest some carbohydrates, yes, even if they're very simple and you spike your, your blood sugar level, that's a very short change. It's a very acute difference, okay? That doesn't happen for 24 hours, okay? So what matters is the caloric deficit that you create over a 24-hour window if your goal is to lose body fat. If you are taking in more calories than you were burning, then you can store body fat. I just don't agree at all with this idea that insulin is somehow evil. Actually, insulin, well, it's quite anabolic. It's very good for us. So when we spike our insulin, I know everyone fears carbohydrates because they think, wow, I'm having some simple sugars, my insulin's gonna spike, and it's gonna move all that glucose. But guess where it takes it? To your muscles. That's right. This is a very anabolic process, and it's very beneficial for those of us that are worried about putting on muscle. Now, if you're a very sedentary person, then perhaps you should limit your simple carbohydrate intake. So when it comes to eating a more complex type of carbohydrate, these are things that are gonna have less impact on your blood sugar. You know, things that are very hard for the body to break down, things like broccoli versus a simple sugar, which might come from something like a fruit, or you can even have table sugar. Those are about as simple as it gets. Where I feel we run into trouble when it comes to like simple sugars or kind of refined carbohydrates, refined sugars, is that they're quite often paired with a high fat content. That's where we get into trouble because that is going to be highly palatable and it might lead you to eat more food. So for someone like you that just needs to get 40 grams of carbohydrates, I don't think it makes any difference if that comes from simple or if it comes from complex, as long as it doesn't cause you to go eat something more. Sometimes eating something like a simple sugar will actually create a little bit of a craving where if you eat something that's a little more complex, it'll actually give you a little more satiety. And that's the key word, satiety, food volume. When you eat something that's very simple, you're not getting a lot of food volume. One of the easiest tricks I find for people that are kind of overweight or dealing with health issues due to their weight is to stop drinking your calories. These are very simple sugars. When you think of the sugar in a Coke or a soda or a fruit juice, those are very easy to digest, okay? And you don't get a lot of satiety. You don't get a lot of bang for your buck when it comes to dieting versus ingesting something that has a little bit more fiber, a little more food volume. Some of the things I love, obviously like fruits are very good, vegetables are very good because they contain some fiber, but they aren't always the most easy to digest and you can certainly overdo it with vegetables. 
But if you use things like potatoes and sweet potatoes and rice, these are also good ways to get a lot more food volume than you would get in something that's a little more simple. One of my favorites is also just air popped popcorn. It's kind of high in fiber. As long as you're not adding butter to it, the calories are gonna be quite low for the amount of food volume that you get. So a lot of times it depends where you're at in the process. What I don't know about you is if you've got an extra 40 grams of carbs, are you feeling kind of full and you don't want to kind of force feed yourself? This is where some simple sugars can help. I personally get my carbs up to four to 500 grams a day. If I try to stick to just complex carbohydrates during that process, I get really full and I don't feel good and I don't digest well. So I have to add in some simple sugars. Now, in the process of dieting down, when my carbohydrates get below 200 grams a day, that's when I make a switch. I start to focus on more complex carbohydrates. So that's really the question you have to ask is where do you have it in your budget for carbohydrates? Are you in the process of eating more and therefore you need to eat simpler foods so that they digest well? Or are you in the process of restricting a bit and food volume is key? That's it. All right, guys, hopefully that answers your question, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.